Now, a spiritual things, why I became involved. In Cuba, we had many members of the family, although they were Catholics, they had the power to pass the spirit. Now, people like Teresa Caputo from the Long Island Medium and Terry uh, Tyler Henry from the Hollywood Medium, they get thoughts and they, they tell a person thoughts that come to mind. But in Cuba, we had mediums so actually the spirit took over their bodies and started speaking in sometimes in different languages. So I was a little boy and there was a little session, my grandmother and my, and my cousin, Soledad Redondo and her husband, and they started passing the spirits. I got to see spirits through their voices that were bad spirits and some who came who were very sweet. The ugly ones would come and say horrible things like they were on earth. I want to do this harm and that harm. And then the guide in the session would say, you are not allowed to do that. You are a spirit. You're supposed to ask for pardon. And the spirit would say, I don't want any pardon. So then they would say, there, there's other spirits who are going to take you away from here and show you how to repent. Sometimes they would say, but I am alive. And then the guy would say, look into the ground. Do you see that corpse rotting? That's you. Then the spirit would say, no, it cannot be. It's impossible. I cannot be dead. I'm alive. Now, the most important thing is that our uh, uh, black uh, lady servant, Graciela Fernandez, who was very nice to us, she lived in our home in Camagüey. She had a power, but she didn't want to do anything about it. So one day we had a session, and Soledad said to my grandmother Maria, something is going to happen you won't believe. And it happened. Here's Graciela coming from the lower floor to the second story, up and down, up. And she goes up the steps. She goes into the room like in a trance, and she sits down. She starts talking, she starts talking, she passes the spirit, and at the end of the session, she wakes up, she says, what's happened, what am I doing here? And they explain to her, really? So then she said, you promised when you came to earth to help people with your talent. So then every time we had a session, we didn't have to force Graciela, she came willingly to help. So I so many, uh, people who were phonies who would say later on in life, oh, you're going to get married, you're going to go on a trip to Europe. These are not the mediums I'm talking about. I saw the real thing. So when people tell me, uh, how do you know there's life after you die? I said, because I was present when these mediums passed the spirits. And these people were not lying because they were not charging money. They did out of love. We had different people in our family who could do that. My mother couldn't do it, but she had premonitions. My grandmother was able to pass the spirits. Unfortunately, when I was a little boy, I could see the spirits, but it was such a shock to me that my Aunt Soledad asked my guide to stop it because it would hurt me. And from then on, never again I could see anything, but I was able to see when I was a little boy in Cuba. Now that I'm older, I said, to them, you took away that gift. I wouldn't mind having it in order to communicate with those of you who have crossed over. So I'm sure people who are into mediums, they will enjoy this part of me. Got all of this, like my friend Linda LeBlanc, who, who was a pianist who played at Carnegie Hall, she used to say to me, David, you are as transparent as scotch tape. And I am. Whatever you see, is what you get. This is not a theatrical act. Everything I say to you today comes from my heart and is the complete truth.